Deep learning has transformed the way we work with video data. By using deep learning models, you can detect objects in a video stream, or you can classify different image streams to see what is actually happening in that scene. For use cases beyond security, such as IoT, automation, optimization, and monitoring, it makes a lot of sense to use machine learning models that are deployed on the edge devices, what we call edge AI. Training these models can, however, be very complex, since you need to collect data, annotate data, train your models, optimize models, and make sure that the models are suitable for the specific camera platform that you're going to run them in. This means that the process of developing a machine learning application for an access camera can take many, many months and is a very expensive process. This limits the number of use cases that you can solve with machine learning, and this is what we want to solve. So what we have done is that we have created an integration with an AutoML framework where you can train your models easily in a no-code interface where anyone can train models. Uh, you just need to upload data and train your model. After this, you can easily deploy the model to the camera uh, where you can run it. This means that the process of uh, prototyping an application or building a uh, proof of concept or um, even a real um, application for real usage in very bespoke situations will be very uh, easy compared to how it was before. So that is why we have been spending the last day here in this workshop collecting data and building three different models for three different use cases. And we did that in one single day. And we will now show you how, how we did that. In this video, we will be taking a look at how easy it can be to use machine learning models inside access cameras. We have spent the last day training three different models for three different use cases. And now we will show you a live showcase of how they work in the actual access cameras. We have used Edge Impulse to develop all three of the models we will be showcasing in this video. The best part about Edge Impulse is that you don't need any prior knowledge about coding or any previous expertise in machine learning. All you need to do is gather your data, gather your images, upload them to the site, and then label the objects that you actually want to detect, press enter in the training model, and then boom, you have a running model that you can use along with our application that will do live detection of different objects. You might be asking yourself, why have machine learning on the Edge? There's actually quite a few advantages, especially in cases like this where it's live video footage from a camera. The most important advantage in this case is that you don't need to transmit or stream the video anywhere. The video never leaves the camera, which saves a lot in transmission costs, and it also protects the privacy of the people that might be in the video. Edge Impulse is optimized in such a way that you don't need millions upon millions of images, and you can train a model with just a few hundred images. We at Fixed have developed an ACAP application that can make use of the Edge Impulse models to do live detection of objects and send events in real time whenever a detection happens, or otherwise use the data from the detections for additional processing inside the camera. Our integration understands the format of the exported models from Edge Impulse and knows how to run them in the access cameras. Another way to put it is that it works as a bridge between the exported model and the access application that wants to use it. This application is not limited to the three models that we have trained for this live showcase. It can be used with any object detection model that has been trained on its impulse using the FOMO algorithm. And the good thing about the FOMO algorithm is that it can be up to 30 times more efficient in terms of memory usage and power usage. This makes it so that this application can be used on any of the Axis cameras, regardless of whether it has a DLPU or Deep Learning Processing Unit or not. This is because the model is run in the CPU instead of the DLPU. Of course, there will still be cases where the model will need to be optimized in order to be used in the DLPU. However, in a lot of the cases, this application that we're going to showcase in this video will be enough for simpler applications with object detection. To delve a little bit more on the specifics of the models we have trained specifically for this video, they expect a 96 by 96 image input and they have been trained using the RGB color depth. However, it doesn't mean you need to do that. In cases where color is not really important, you can use the grayscale and the detections will be a little bit faster because the inference time is lower. And since this is just a quick demo that we have put together in a day and we've had to train three different models, we've only been able to use a few hundred images for each model. Regardless, you can see that the results have been pretty accurate. So if you use more images, you can make it even more accurate than one we showcase in this demo. With this application, you don't need to worry about doing the pre-processing for the images that come from the camera and into the model. Since the application will automatically detect how the model was trained and it will adapt the input that it expects. 
This application makes for a very good starting point for any application that might need object detection at its baseline, but that wants to be further developed for a very specific use case. And there are multiple use cases that object det detection might be needed in. For example, in the workplace, there are different uses. Uh, you can detect if someone is currently using a tool or how long they've borrowed it for, so you can calculate how long someone has had the tool for. You can also see if the tools are being put back correctly in their place so that everything is safe. It can also be used in nature, such as things like detecting fires in big areas like big forests or even metropolitan areas. And it can also be used for other things like commercial use, for counting stock at warehouses. Another interesting use case that we have been working on is detecting if personal protection equipment is being worn correctly. For example, in the case of noise cancelling earmuffs, you could calculate the distance between the middle of the face to the ears where the personal protection equipment is supposed to go. In that way, you can detect that it is being worn correctly. Now let's take a look at the three use cases that we will be live showcasing in this video. The first one has to do with personal protection equipment, which is what we've discussed before, the noise cancelling earmuffs. The second one will be when someone is welding, and the third one will be different tools on a workbench. Now, we can start with the live showcase. So the first model detects the personal protection equipment, and we can see at the top right we have the live video from the access camera. Top left shows the frames where the equipment has been detected and at the bottom we can see some additional information provided by our application such as the average inference time. With the second model we are detecting when someone is welding and as you can see whenever the welding stops we start getting the no objects found message at the bottom. With the last model we are detecting three different tools, hammers, pliers and the noise cancelling earmuffs. So you're not limited to detecting a single type of object per model. You can have different labels and our integration will take that into account as well. And like we said, these are just a few examples, but you can train your model to detect essentially anything that you can see with your eyes. If you're interested in using the building block that we have presented in this video in your own application, you can feel free to reach out to us at Fixit Consulting. We can also help you further develop an object detection application that fits more with your specific use case.